hello uh, welcome to everyone so um, and do you um, um, know about this large language model so this chat gpt is example of large language model and uh, today uh, i will be talking about the data privacy and security related to large language models so data privacy is a not a new thing and uh, security is also a new thing uh, there are so, so many discussions happens in the security and data privacy in the past time this uh, will be talking about that how the language, large language model affects the data privacy and security so myself deepak i am uh, working as a ai architect uh, in wind river in the iot segment uh, and uh, uh, this is my linkedin profile so let us go with the agenda mm, this uh, cyber security challenge is the first one that what kind of the cyber security challenges it can bring it and uh, um, cyber security uh, challenges means uh, uh, a kind of hacking of the uh, that uh, people and uh, uh, there are many methods are there actually uh, one popular method is the malware injection like a uh, virus and uh, uh, then uh, human engineering where the that uh, some link they will trick to click on that and then uh, uh, and data breaches uh, whatever actually is happening that we will talk about that so how the um, that important data of the corporate is actually getting compromised uh, and then we will talk about the data privacy so what kind of privacy policy uh, chat gpt has and then we'll brainstorm that what are the things actually we can take care of that to mitigate it uh, this issue so cyber security um, challenge actually let us come to that so in uh, if you see the harvard business review they were telling about this uh, this is actually a kind of it is a uh, severe issue so it can multi it can increase the uh, data breach uh, over a time so it is actually accelerate the data breach incident so they were telling that uh, we should be um, recognizing that industry leaders should be recognizing and then handle it so uh, and the um, actually this even the facebook meta has actually went into extent it is telling that it is as a as much uh, uh, budging as a crypto so the crypto uh, they have related to that so the kind of excitement uh, in the um, hacking world is like that actually so they are seeing lots of potential uh, for the so that it is that uh, this llm chat gpt can be used chat gpt can be used for the criminal purposes so for example let if you see here that uh, they are using the uh, chat gpt for the uh, uh, human engineering in the facebook right now itself so if you see the uh, ductile malware if you might have aware of that so this is actually using the ai so now they are using the ai to lure the person okay to um, uh, uh, to access their personal information like uh, account detail uh, location data authentication detail so and it is they are not stopping here only they are also affecting the those Uh, users that uh, 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 
that it is connected to that that person who is actually victim so that victim um, connected to that whatever the account is there they are actually uh, will be also infected so they are uh, for monetary purpose they are going to constituting the business accounts uh, so they you see the phishing attack actually that uh, they can create very uh, like a mail phishing email that it will be very difficult to recognize a person like us that it is genuine or phishing so that way actually they can uh, they will get uh, more uh, leverage to trick us so that is the one thing is there so the, that is the power of ai actually so right now they were uh, that uh, they were actually using the some uh, scripting kind of tools which are not that intelligent that it can write similar to what the human beings write for example that if you see the um, uh, the um, uh, when they will be sending in group mail so they will they will not able to personalize the uh, personalized as they will not able to make so because actually it is more about the automation and the script now they can uh, personalize the mail as per the person actually so uh, this is one of the things which helps the, uh, them to make the uh, more realistic mail so um, then actually um, because actually they uh, that uh, this chatgpt is able to uh, write the content in the human manner it can create some propaganda also so they can uh, um, generate uh, uh, so much uh, this llm using llm they can generate so much uh, uh, that uh, 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 that content which it looks like the real incident and they may be in the voice of the some person also so which actually they can even mimic the voices right in the voice also they can uh, 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 make it so that even it will even look looks like more appealing with the some uh, kind of uh, uh, pro- provoking voice provoking per- the person influential person voice in the provoking way so that kind of things can be done here uh, and the uh, mm, this chatgpt power you need know that we are using for the that can be used for the writing the code so they can write even malicious code like uh, virus trojan horse uh, with the uh, mm, so they can miss miss that they can very quickly write the malicious code and then as soon as they see the vulnerability that will easily quickly write the malicious code using the uh, this uh, chat gpt this llm Okay, and then inject it. So, when the based on different different platform, they can uh, write different different uh, malicious code. Now, uh, this attack surface means uh, when in the system, uh, when you are uh, uh, making something loophole, so that loophole becomes the attack surface actually. Okay, so for example, if you uh, keep the your laptop uh, unlocked when you are not present so then it is a attack surface you are increasing on the laptop anyone can come in and do something right that way actually if you are uh, uh, the um, the security privacy policy is like that you can col- retain the collect the private personal information from your message in whatever files you upload <coughs> so now <coughs> you see that this is a single place and a uh, attacker can um, target and in fact they have done also and human engineering based attack actually like uh, um, uh, they will trick the user for the malware uh, that uh, <laughs> that is uh, um, like chat gpt is so much uh, um, buzzword is become then they are telling that uh, if you uh, install this app then 
you you will have the you will get the this AI facility and then if the person installs it then you will get a malware so coming to the data breaches uh, and leaks actually so if you uh, see that chat gpt that uh, uh, that uh, they have actually large compromise and the some critical information of the user like uh, credit card information uh, that kind of things was compromised actually so mm, so uh, so one side is that they will use, the hackers will use the chat GPT for um, creating the content and the attacking uh, in the cyber world. But other side of the coin is that they will uh, they are attacking the uh, chat GPT itself actually. So this um, happens like couple of months back, and because of that, the chat GPT was actually uh, kept the unaccessible for some time. So, so um, this is one thing actually, and then uh, uh, this uh, actually this uh, data leak means uh, uh, that uh, you if your data actually you will be kept uh, it come out of your uh, uh, that personal space. Then, if it is go to the public space, then you don't know that what will be happen to data and who will actually access it so that is the data leak so this same thing actually happened that uh, they were uh, they have the by uh, that uh, that they have actually the that uh, implied they have provided the access and then they have uh, uh, they noticed that uh, uh, this uh, company secret information the code and the source code and also meeting meeting summary meeting data they were actually uh, that posted as a prompt query to chat gpt so now um, uh, the samsung what is doing it is actually installing their its own uh, chat gpt for the employees So what are the problems are there? The software bug is like uh, what the data breach is with that OpenAI has told. It is the software bug in the Redis uh, database. Uh, you have you heard of the Redis database? Okay, so there it is there actually. So uh, what happened that uh, uh, how does this uh, um, LLM is using the uh, this Redis, this ChatGPT, that uh, anyone can guess how the chat Redis is coming in the picture in the ChatGPT. So basically, uh, that Redis is used as a cache actually. So for caching for what? This whatever the query we put, uh, they keep the context of the query, right? So that con context actually they keep in the cache for faster access actually so that they don't have to access the database again and again okay so this uh, the problem what happened that right, uh, when you uh, the user is logged in and then uh, you sent a query and before the response coming the response if the um, session is terminated so that time the radius was uh, that, uh, there was software was actually that having the that uh, entry used to have actually and that becomes like a uh, unprotected which is actually accessed by other code and then uh, you will see the um, uh, this privacy policy is also creating the um, that uh, that issue that data leakage and then home and either is also there which you have seen in the case of Samsung. So let us go with the data privacy. 
with ChatGPT policy. How the uh, data privacy impacted with the ChatGPT policy? So, uh, what kind of uh, data extension policy is this? So it will keep the uh, account information, retain the account you know, when you signed actually. And whatever you, uh, the information you type. And uh, whatever information it has pulled from your device, like a uh, uh, file and etc., PDF document so so this is the thing actually will do they will return and for what for the training to the their machine so and then sharing to the third party so they will share to the vendor service provider other business affiliates legal entities you know i trainers who review your conversations so that's why the it becomes like your data is actually not safe it is here it is leaked it is it can be the it can be this data can be the uh, used by some for some unwanted purpose see that how many people are actually worried about that they were telling flimsy privacy policy and then we see that is nightmare they were telling and some will telling us there are three million words actually this chat uh, pretty store and how many are yours okay. security scrutiny is increasing like in italy has actually been when the chat pt is also investigation it is doing so what is the thing is there when uh, uh, the other thing is that actually that uh, there is some contextual in in integrity so what the uh, chat gpt is doing it is actually um, scrubbing the scrubbing the data which is available in the internet so and then showing you so now the thing is that there is one law is there to tell that when your data is there is somewhere in the some website you that is the context that data is there okay and then uh, uh, that is the original context where it was produced now if you, uh, the chat gpt will actually uh, provide this data in different context okay so that could be the a uh, breach so this is the um, one legal uh, problem is there So uh, and the other thing is that uh, um, there is no provision is procedure is there for individual. You can check that what information actually is stored by company. Okay, or at least that uh, they have stored or not. And request to delete is also as per my understanding it is not there right now. And you might have heard of the GDPR. This is actually the kind. It is the requirement for the GDPR. So, so, right to forgotten is uh, uh, also be when the you are having some uh, incorrect or misleading information. So you want to uh, write to information. So that also could be there. But if charity people will keep it, it can. It will use for the multiple purposes, including inaccurate and misleading information. So, what are the problems? In summary, it is there. One is the personal information it is taking, and uh, document actually what are in documents also there, and the conversation is reviewed and uh, by it will be shared. Okay, so and the GDPR policies are not uh, compliant. So these are the issues are there. Now let us see that we will brainstorm to see what can be done actually. So you, you people are all uh, uh, that welcome to provide the comments. So um, 
that what how this kind of issue is that OpenAI is handling. It is actually one thing is that for bugs actually what is done is uh, put the job bounty. So any vulnerability, vulnerability is there, they will give the award actually to someone finds it. So this is uh, one um, step further that uh, in this way that uh, before the hacker can uh, do it or the damage, the bugs can be found actually earlier. So, and the other thing is that uh, it is telling that uh, uh, whatever data it is using for model performance, it is removing the personally identifiable information. That kind of things it is telling. So, so, so it means that uh, the model will not uh, retain the uh, that uh, PII information. And also it is telling the users that don't get the sensitive information in the conversation. So um, other offering is that uh, it is telling that uh, you can be the IG organization, you can be transparent. You can see that what the, your workers are doing. So anyway, workers are using the chat GPT. So why not you uh, offer the chat GPT with the license so that you can know that what query stream the uh, query or uh, that prompt query the um, worker has. So you can have the vigilance in that. So that is the thing is the another option actually. So at least you will know that what is going. So uh, our that in general the uh, what is the answer is there one thing is that we can uh, um, we can be uh, prevent uh, we can be cautious so prevention is better than cure so uh, self awareness that okay so be careful while putting the uh, extremely careful you should be when putting some information like this. And then uh, uh, there is some software is coming which is actually doing the uh, that uh, prompt query sanitization. Okay, so uh, so so um, so what it will do that uh, um, so it is software will actually. Uh, Before submitting to the chat GPT, they will actually scan the query and then they will sanitize it. Okay. So that way, you know, the chances of human error will be, that, that will mitigate the chances of human error. That way. Thank you.